it's all about chickens and eggs this time. Saskatchewan has some really great producers in this province and much of what we buy in the stores is locally grown and processed. We'll take a look at some of the local producers and the options we have for enjoying breakfast, lunch, supper and dessert. One of the best things about living right here in Saskatchewan is that well, there's farmers all around us growing and raising the local produce. So it's a great opportunity every day to, to buy local, support local farmers, and, and buy fresh. Which brings us to today's show. It's all about poultry and chicken. It's no exception. Which begs the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? And in the case of our first story, we're going to have to say the chicken. Or actually, more precisely, chicks. Pineview Farms, we've been uh, on this uh, location since 1998, so it's 15 years. Uh, it started when uh, we were looking for more land to farm. We were grain farming, dirt farming with my father, and we needed to expand our acreage. We raise meat in an all-natural manner. Uh, it's a protocol that, that we have established and publish ourselves. What it basically means is our animals are raised in an old-fashioned way. Our animals are raised without the use of antibiotics, hormones, uh, uh, anything to promote growth artificially, uh, raised without the use of uh, animal byproducts in the feed, so our animals eat just a vegetarian diet. Uh, we give them space to move around and do what animals need to do to, to exhibit their, their natural behavior. But we are unique in Saskatchewan that we're the only uh, producer, processor and marketer of, of chicken uh, in the province and um, so I guess we're the biggest and the smallest <laughs> in that regard. But it, uh, it gives us uh, lots of things to do besides just the production. There's the processing and the marketing which uh, keeps us busy. There are just a couple of companies in the world that hold the, um, the genetics and, and breed chickens. So we do buy our chickens from uh, a hatchery that supplies commercial growers as well. Our birds, however, are, are uh, we buy them at day old and therefore we can we can do whatever we want with them as, with regards to what goes into them. So we have full control of what goes into those birds from, from uh, the day they're born till the day they're slaughtered. Um, but we are raising a commercial chicken and uh, in that uh, our birds would be from the same breed as, as birds that other producers are raising. I guess what makes us different than your average chicken farmer is that our chickens go out vacuum packed in a bag ready for the oven whereas most other chicken production in Saskatchewan they go out with feathers and on a truck someplace else to be slaughtered and processed and marketed and we do that all right here on our farmyard. Our birds are between 8 and 13 weeks when we slaughter them uh, which seem, doesn't seem very long. Uh, commercial birds are more in the line of uh, 35 days so um, Relatively speaking, we're about double or more than a, than a conventional bird. What we feed them is all vegetarian. Uh, when they get outside, uh, like I said, we, we raise our birds year-round. So some of our flocks don't get to go outside. Um, they, for some reason, they just don't like the snow and the cold. Um, but uh, weather permitting, they get to see the outside and, and run in the grass and breathe the fresh air. And We have our farm shop here where people are more than welcome to come out. Uh, we also sell wholesale to health food stores throughout Saskatchewan. Uh, they can shop there. There's uh, um, restaurants throughout Saskatchewan which carry our product. Uh, you can even try it ready in a meal uh, if that's your choice. Our boss is ultimately the customer. What they say, what they're asking for, what they're looking for, that's what we pay attention to and try and build into our business. We've always raised animals for our own consumption and slaughtered them. And and eaten that all winter long and so basically what we're doing for customers is what we would do for ourselves. We're not going to sell anything to anybody that we wouldn't put on our own dinner table and that's part of what undergirds our philosophy. 
And we have a small flock of laying hens. Um, so I think uh, without quota, you can only have 300 hens. So that's what we have. And so we collect and wash all our own eggs and market them here direct from the farm store. Nothing beats a fresh egg and the way it sits so, um, what's the word I'm looking for, firm in the pan, it doesn't get runny and just run all over. A really fresh egg is firm and sits there and it's, there's nothing better really. Every job has things you like and don't like, but if you believe in what you're doing, it, it makes it all worthwhile in the end. And for me, the best thing is when a customer comes in and said, that steak or that roast chicken was the best meal I've ever had, or that Thanksgiving turkey, my family was just in awe. I've never had such a wonderful meal. And for us, that's what makes all the hard work worthwhile, is when someone comes in and says, this, this made my family dinner spectacular. So what I'm going to make today is one of my favorite things. I love making omelets. So I've got, uh, I've got all of my favorite ingredients here right now. I've got onions and uh, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers, shredded cheese, three different kinds of cheese. I love that. But when I went shopping for the eggs, do you realize that eggs not only come in a variety of sizes, but they also come in a variety of healthy alternatives, right? I mean, today I've got a mixture of brown and white eggs. and. I mean, really, what's the difference, right? It's all kind of the same when you crack them open, right? However, you can get eggs with omega-3, with vitamin D. Some of the eggs I bought today were organic, free-run eggs, kind of a, a healthy alternative for those folks who demand a more specialized, healthy diet. Well, no matter what eggs you choose, they're an excellent way to get a healthy dose of protein and good fat into your diet. And they're so inexpensive, and they're so versatile. I mean, you can use them in just about anything. Well, omelets for breakfast, uh, quiche for lunch, egg foo young for dinner, creme boulet for dessert. But the first thing, of course, is you have to get them from the chicken. So Max cameras take you to two different farms to do just that, get the eggs from the chickens. This is why we get paid more for our eggs. It's a hazardous job. The chicken had to come first to lay the first egg. I've actually been in the, the chicken industry, the poultry industry, for uh, just over 20 years now. We moved up uh, to Saskatoon here. Uh, eight years ago to work for Star Egg and Highland Poultry Farm. And then uh, two years ago, the uh, Saskatchewan egg producers uh, decided that it was time to bring in some new uh, people into the industry. And so they uh, had a draw for new producers. We were one of two producers uh, drawn for 5,000 laying ends, and that, which is what we have here now on this farm. We got involved with egg laying, I guess, um, three years ago. We put our name into the draw. Um, they chose our name to start with chickens, so we set up our barn that year. Um, this is our second flock that we have in this barn. They're brown loman chicken, and they lay a brown egg. Nutrition-wise, there's no difference, but shell-wise, there definitely is a difference. The cage system that we chose here is a Hellman uh, enrichable cage system. So we've... Uh, the birds tend to have a lot more room in the, in the cages because of that. A lot taller, a lot wider, a lot deeper. Uh, so that gives us a lot more square inches. The majority of this, of this cage system that we have in here have all individual cages that have either seven or six birds in them, uh, which will allow us to have as much as 105 square inches at one time per bird. As we see some of the systems changing into more modern systems, um, 
cages either have to be bigger or you have to go into free run. So we've decided to go into free run with our new setup. Our chicks have the ability to roam freely through the barn. They can go to the floor all the way to the top and over top. Some of the benefits that we've seen is um, the livelihood of our birds, uh, being able to walk amongst our birds. Um, egg quality is, is good. And yeah, I don't know, get a bit, a bit of a better premium on our eggs because they're free run. On this side here, we uh, took the opportunity to go with a fully enriched colony cage. We've done just as an, as an experiment where we've got uh, as many as 48 birds in, uh, in a four cage section. The uh, area here on the far side where the red uh, curtain is, is the nest box. I don't think it's gonna be any different production wise, uh, but this eventually is what the industry will be forced to go to. We have to ensure that the lighting, when they come into our layer barn, is at a brighter intensity than what they were in the grow barn when they were being raised as, from chicks. And that's what gets their whole metabolism going and uh, starts the egg process. Not all chickens know how to lay in the nesting box. That's part of our training that we try to do um, with putting the lights on first in the nesting boxes, is to try to get them up to that level so that they realize there is a nesting box to lay in. What we have in this system is, is it's a cage wire, which uh, is on a timer, and the eggs are actually laid uh, in the cage, and they roll out against the wire, and we'll sit there, and then every five minutes, from five o'clock in the morning till about one o'clock in the afternoon, this wire goes up, allows the eggs to roll out, and uh, they sit on the belts. They slow down if they're coming from the back of the cage, to the front so that they don't slam into the eggs that are already out here. This wire alone is probably saving us anywhere from one and a half to two percent cracks on the life of the flock, which, which adds up to a fair bit of money for us. The life of the hens as we see it with, with commercial producers is that they come in at, at 19 weeks of age and that's when they're considered a ready to lay hen and they'll come in and start laying eggs at that time or very shortly after and uh, we keep them for one year in the lay barn. Uh, so they'll go out at right around between 69 and 70 weeks of age. Uh, and that's generally the life cycle of most commercial fox in North America. It's a great job for my family. I, my youngest one is 10 years old and he can easily come in here and help me collect eggs and pack eggs on the weekends when our hired man's not around. And I can just sort of meander through and look for eggs and uh, just walk amongst my chickens. Say, I do like green eggs and ham. I do, I do, Sam I am. I would eat them in a boat. I would eat them with a goat. I would eat them in the rain, in the dark, or in a train. I would eat them in a car, eat them in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. Classic Dr. Seuss, remember that one? Green eggs and ham and Dr. Seuss? Yeah, I grew up with that one. Who didn't, right? I always did wonder though, green eggs, where did green eggs come from? Were they eggs that went bad? Or maybe they're healthy eggs, organic. There's a thought. I do know that there's one company that makes all kinds of eggs, the Star Egg Company in Saskatoon. Hey, they've been serving us breakfast since 1966. The Star Egg Company with their associate company, Harmon Poultry Farms Limited, are one of the largest producers of eggs in the country. And not just eggs, but high quality eggs. Well, see for yourself. The question of which came first, the chicken or the egg, for us it was the chicken.
My brother and I are the third generation involved in our family business. Uh, my grandfather, Walter Herman, started um, a production facility, I guess, or um, had chickens in his backyard as a hobby. He uh, expanded his production a little bit and started to produce eggs for the Prince Albert market. In 1965, my father graduated from high school and uh, decided that he wanted to pursue uh, the opportunity and work with his father and expand the business. So they bought land north of where they lived in Prince Albert, about two miles north of where they were living, and built barns to house laying hens. Since then, um, I guess the business has grown. Um, my father had an entrepreneurial spirit and, and uh, in 1978 uh, purchased Star Egg Company, uh, which was located on Avenue D South. Our group of companies now consists of uh, three laying operations. So we have our uh, original laying operation in Prince Albert. And then um, in 2004, we purchased a laying operation in Humboldt, Saskatchewan. And in 2005, we purchased a Manitoba operation. So the life of an egg is uh, a chicken will lay an egg a day. They come to the plant, they're put through a process. Um, we have employees that work at what we call a loading station, and so they take the stacks of eggs and transfer them from a pallet onto the machine. They go through a wash process, and we do this to, be, to kill any bacteria that is on the outside of the shell of the egg. Uh, once they've gone through a wash process, they're rinsed, they get dried, and then they go through what we call our quality transfer area. We, get, we uh, have mechanized our candling process. So uh, nowadays, um, we use a dirt detector, we have blood detectors, we have crack detectors. Our um, eggs that get pulled out go into a big bin. So the machine calls those eggs and drops them into a, a very big barrel. At the end of our day, we uh, dispense the rejected product into what we call a centrifuge and it spins and separates the shell from the yolk. We package that yolk into big tubs um, that are sanitized and uh, ship them off to a local dog food uh, manufacturer. So once the eggs are cleaned, they get weighed, and the computer process that we have maps each individual egg. And so according to the weight, it knows what packer it is going to distribute that egg at. So we have 16 packers that we pack our finished product in. And so each packer will be packing whatever brand of product we have to meet or fill orders from. So we'll package anything in from uh, two and a half dozen fiber tray to one dozen cartons or family pack cartons. An egg is a perfect source of food. When you think about it, an egg contains uh, protein uh, of which the body absorbs uh, in a very efficient manner. Uh, the yolk, or the protein I guess is found in the white. The yolk contains all the minerals and nutrients in an egg. And so an egg contains natural occurring sources of vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin D. Eggs have always been an affordable source of protein. We always recommend an egg a day. It's supposed to be an omelet, but to scramble instead. Well, you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? Sometimes to scramble, something like that. That's okay. I love it. Look at this gorgeous, delicious meal. And local, all local produce. I love eggs, love chickens. I don't care what came first. Doesn't matter to me. Love them all. And we're so lucky in Saskatchewan right here to have all of these incredible farmers working so hard every day to give us this fresh local produce that we can enjoy any time we want. So I encourage you, next time you go shopping, buy local. Support your local farmers. Why not? You're getting the best, freshest produce 
anywhere on the planet right here in Saskatchewan. Until next time, I'm Brad Grass for another delicious episode of Max Magazine. Bon appétit. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com. Max Local Programming is now available online at maxonline.sastel.com.